All right, guys, so we're going to start with the first crop, which is blue jazz. So blue jazz isn't really that important of a crop, and it's not really needed unless there's a bundle for it, and you don't make that much of a profit off of it. And it's just not a fun flower. So me personally, I'm just going to put in D. All right, guys, on to carrots. So carrots, you know, they're a fast growing crop. They don't really give you that much money from what I've seen, but they are excellent as a food source. I will say that. So me personally, I'm going to put carrots in A tier. On to the next one, which is cauliflower. So cauliflower, in my opinion, is just a poor man's melon and pumpkin. There's not really much to it, so I'm probably just gonna give it a C or a B. And yeah, I'm just gonna go with a C. We're on to the next crop, and it's coffee bean. So everybody knows where coffee bean goes. There's not really much to say about it. It's, if anything, a low S, but a high A. Alrighty, on to garlic garlic isn't that fun of a crop and me personally i don't find much fun out of it so i'm going to just put it in a d tier there's not much to say about it all right guys so now we're on to green beans green beans are an interesting crop just because it takes 10 days to grow and then it keeps regrowing afterwards it's kind of like a blueberry you would say where it just keeps growing the whole season but this doesn't give you multiple so it's kind of just pointless unless you're gifting it to somebody so in that case i just put it in a c all right guys so we're on to the next crop and that crop is kale so kale is an interesting crop because you really only grow it for quest or a bundle so with that kale honestly is just a, a d tier all right guys so we're on to the flagship crop for stardew valley so this crop right here parsnips is the first crop you always get unless you're playing the meadowland farm so me personally i don't enjoy the, the parsnips at all so i'm gonna put it in trash it's just not a fun crop all right guys so now we're on to the next crop which is potatoes so potatoes are an interesting crop because they're the first like multi-crop that you get in spring so potatoes aren't really that much of a useful crop they're just like a poor man's blueberry and cranberry to me so honestly i would put it in b tier just for making money all right guys so we're on to the next one which is rhubarb so rhubarb honestly is just kind of a useless crop there's just not much to do with it all right guys now we're on to one of the best crops for spring so strawberries can be bought for 100 but they can be sold for 120 but the thing is they grow multiple times so let's say you get two harvests out of these strawberries you bought it for 100 and now you're selling it for two 240 so that is a more than 200 percent gain i would say right so me personally i'm putting strawberries and s tier all right guys so now we're on to tulips so tulips in my opinion they're they're a pretty nice flower they're they're better than the summer spangle i think that's what it's called and then the fairy the fairy rose thing right here so me personally i don't really have much to say about the tulip but i'm gonna put it in b or c all right guys so now we're on to the worst crop ever i'm i'm not even gonna say anything i'm just gonna put it in low trash all right guys now we're on to the second best crop which is blueberries well actually i would consider this the best crop in stardew valley just because of how much money you can make off of this so honestly i'm gonna put blueberries at high s just because of how good they are and then we're on to corn corn isn't really my favorite crop i'm gonna be honest it's kind of just not fun it's kind of a waste you only use it for bundles in my opinion I'm gonna put corn in high D just because it can be used for recipes, but it's not really that good. All right, guys, now we're on to hops. So hops are an interesting crop just because they take 11 days to grow, but after those 11 days, they don't really amount to anything. You just sell it or you can make a pale ale, but who's making pale ale? Let's be honest. I'm gonna put it in C. All right, guys, so now we're on to another really good crop and this one is the hot pepper. So the hot pepper is a crop that grows, it takes five days to grow, but it regrows once every three days. So honestly, I think it's pretty worth it. I think it's up there with blueberries, but I wouldn't give it an S tier. I'd give it a high tier A. And all right, guys, now we're on to one of my favorite crops, which is the melon. The melon is an interesting crop just because of how much it is worth and how it's just a better looking pumpkin. I think the melon is the best 13 day crop. Honestly, I'm going to put it at high, high, low A, low A. All right, guys, so now we're on to the poppy. So the poppy is a cool flower. It's not as cool as the tulip, but it's up there with the tulip. And it's way better than a summer spank. I hate this thing. It looks like a Beyblade. Anyways, um, let's, we're just going to put it low B. The next one is the radish. So the radish is an interesting crop. It takes six days for you to grow it. And you can only buy it for 40 gold from Pierre and 50 gold from Jojo Mart, but it sells for 90. So it's not that bad of a crop if you want to grow it as a one-time thing. Why would you need why would you need a radish unless it's for a quest or a bundle? There's no reason. So honestly, I'm just gonna put it low, low, low C. 
just it's, it's not trash or ghee but you know and up next is the red cabbage i have nothing to say about it it's horrible i hate having to get it all right guys so up next is the star fruit i consider the star fruit basically a, a poor man's ancient fruit if i'm being honest so me personally i would put star fruit low s all right guys so the next one is summer spangle and you are, you guys already know what i think about this crop there's not much to say about it it's worse than a parsnip and this one's a new one actually i didn't really know about the summer squash until a couple days ago so the summer squash is a summer crop obviously that you, i think you can find in the mines i think i found some seed packets from the mines the thing i like the most about it is that it regrows so personally i would put it a high b and then here's another crop a crop that i genuinely hate the sunflower the most useless crop i hate i hate it worst crop ever no, well not the worst crop it's better than a red cabbage i'll say all right so now we're on to the, f the tomato is this a fall crop no the tomato is a summer crop never mind i think it's yeah, yeah 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 i don't even know the game anymore so the tomato is a crop that grows after 11 days and regrows every four days it's it's not worth it unless you're doing a bundle or cooking the foods and the foods aren't bad i'll say that so me personally i'm gonna put it as a uh, a high c all right guys so now we're on to another interesting crop this one is wheat so wheat honestly useless crop there's not much to do with it it's kind of like a sunflower but rice as well because like what's the point of needing wheat when you could just buy half the stuff from the npc uh marnie like i don't see any reason to growing this unless you need it for a bundle so honestly i'm gonna put it at mid-tier trash all right here's here's a cool one so i'm gonna be completely biased i love being friends with marnie so i always love to give her the amaranth so me personally amaranth is a low tier s just because the color's pretty you can give it to marnie and that's pretty much it there's not much to say about it all right now we're on to the artichoke which can be bought from pierre's for 30 and then sold for 160 so me personally, just because of the crop price, I think it's pretty good. I think it's something you should grow. I think it's a better hops. I think it is honestly could be a B tier just because if you grew enough of them, it could be pretty good. And now that I'm looking at this, honestly, potatoes are a low tier A. Alrighty. So now we're on to the beet. The beet is an interesting crop only because you can buy it from Sandy. So the beet can be bought for 20 gold from Sandy and sold for 100. But the thing about it, it's not really useful unless you're trying to be friends with Evelyn. And then with Evelyn, you can just give her diamonds, honestly. Why not give Evelyn diamonds? Why, why would you give her a beet? So honestly, I'm going to give it a low tier D just because, well, actually, I'm going to give it a high tier D. All right, guys, so now we're on to another crop, which is the bok choy. So the bok choy is an interesting crop just because I love the name, <laughs> bok choy. It can be bought for 50 gold from Pierre's and bought for 62 gold from Jojo Mart. It takes four days to grow and then you can sell it for 80 gold. So honestly, bok choy isn't bad, but it's not good. So personally, I'm going to give it a low tier C. All right, guys, so now we're on to broccoli. Broccoli is another one of those crops I think you can find in the mines. So personally, I'm not, there's not much to complain about. It's a crop that regrows. So personally, I would put it up here with the summer squash. All right, guys, so the next crop is cranberries. So cranberries are an interesting crop just because they can be used to craft a lot of foods. But personally, they don't seem worth the value. But at the same time they are better than some crops but it's not justifying anything for me so i'm just gonna give it a high tier c i might actually move it to mid tier because i still prefer it over cauliflower and now we have the eggplant so the eggplant it takes five days to grow and then regrows every five days so personally i'm gonna have to put it below cauliflower mid tier c all right guys so the next one is gonna be the fairy rose so you guys already know how i feel about the fairy rose it's just it's it's a flower it's a flower in the game that i'm never getting unless i have to gift it to somebody so personally i'm just gonna put it low tier b just because it's a flower it's not ugly actually i'm gonna put it ahead of that and next we have grapes so grapes honestly a useless crop you could find grapes around the map just because of uh they're a forageable as well they don't really sell for much compared to how much you pay to get it so it would honestly just be better to find it around the map there's really no reason you should buy it so honestly i'm just gonna give it a low tier d and next up we have the pumpkin which in my opinion pumpkin is right behind melon it's a cool crop but the thing is, melon to me just looks better. I don't care about the money you make from it. I don't care about how much it costs. 
melon just looks better. All right, guys. So the next crop we have are yams. So yams take 10 days to grow, but can be sold for 160. So they're pretty cool, I guess. Not really worth it. Not really worth the money unless you're either gifting it to Linus, but Linus, you can just give him forgeables. So personally, yams are, uh, yeah, you know. All right, so this is a new crop actually. I haven't really seen this one in game yet, but uh, yeah, it's called Powder Melon. So, Powder Melons are a new crop in Stardew Valley, I assume, right? And I've never seen these before, but Powder Melons take seven days to grow and can be sold for 60. Personally, that doesn't sound worth my time at all. I'm just gonna put it in the uh, the trash. All right, guys, so now we're up to a good one. Ancient fruit. Ancient fruit is a crop that takes 28 days to grow and then regrows every seven days. So personally, ancient fruits don't sound that bad until you think about how long it takes to grow, the chances of a storm striking your crop down. I'm just not that interested in, in ancient fruits, even though they're so worth it, but they're less than star fruits, so, you know. But the thing is, ancient fruits are still really good just because they regrow over time. If you manage to keep these crops alive for multiple years, you're making millions. So personally, I'm I'm just going to put it below star fruit just because, you know, that's how it is. Someone's going to crucify me if I put ancient fruit in trash, even though actually, you know what? Fuck it. All right. So the next crop we're on to is cactus root. So it takes 12 days to grow and then it regrows every three days. And I'm going to be honest, cactus fruit, not really worth it that much. It's a cute crop. It can be given to Linus, Pam, and Sam. And also it's in the exotic foraging bundle, which, you know, just go to the desert, just unlock the bus. Why do you need to grow cactus fruit? Just pick it up off the ground, but it's still a cute crop. So honestly, I'm just going to give it a, uh, a high C. All right. So now we're on to the next crop. And this one I just threw in here because it was on the list, right? So it takes seven days to grow, right? And then it sells for one gold each. Doesn't really do much, honestly. I'm going to be honest. Fibers, it's it's trash. There's there's just not much to say about it. It's it's trash. All right, so now we're on to another new crop. This one, well, I think this is new for me. So basically, pineapples you can get from the island trader by trading one magma cap. I I haven't done that in a while. I think I've only done it once, so I don't. I'm kind of foggy about it. I'm gonna put it mid C. It's just not. It's not the best. And now we have another one called Taro Root. So Taro Root can be bought from the island trader for two bone fragments. It takes 10 days to grow and can be sold for 100 gold. Personally, it's just not worth it. There's nothing special about this. There's nothing special. So I'm just going to put it in the, the D tier. I'm going to put it mid D. And now we're on to the Sweet Gem Berry. So the Sweet Gem Berry can be uh, bought from the traveling cart for 1,000 gold and then sold for 3,000. So me personally, if you're one of those people who just holds on to these every single time the cart woman comes, you're making a decent amount of profit. But if you're not one of those people, then you're probably not going to get that much profit out of this because it takes 24 days to grow. You can give it to old master cannoli, I think. I think that's how you say it or a star drop. And that's game changing. I'll say that. So it is pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's worth just going out of your way unless you're going for completion. So personally, I'm going to put it in high A. I think that's how it is. I could be I could be wording that wrong. Somebody correct me in the comments. So tea leaves take one day after they're fully grown to grow back. All right. So the, the last but not least, the last but not least is tea leaves. So tea leaves are a crop that you can get the recipe from Caroline. So you can't really buy it from anywhere. They take 20 days to grow and then they regrow every day. If, if that's correct. Somebody correct me in the comments. I could be wrong, but the most useful thing they are for though is green tea. I will say that I think green tea sells for a decent amount, but you have to cook them in a keg. I'm going to put it at A tier just because it's a good plant. Anyways, guys, that's my tier list. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you have a great day and I really appreciate the support that I've been getting in the previous video. So it's been making me want to make more content. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.